my hello to all of you this is dr sachin welcoming with me another top ranker in neat pg dr preeti she is from hyderabad nam center she has secured a rank of 681 in neat pg 2024 congratulations dr preeti thank you sir thank you thank you for being with us uh, please tell us about yourself um sir so i did my ug from gandhi and i'm from uh, 2017 batch uh i gave my uh, first attempt last year with along with internship and i got a rank of 15000 um and then uh, i took a drop and um, then by the end of that was when i basically seriously started preparing so um, i started preparing at around march april when neat pg results were announced and then by the end of august i completed one reading and then slowly i did multiple readings around four to five readings i might have done uh, in this period and uh, yes sir, that's it in ini i got a rank of 625 last ini ini me mm. and uh, now i got a rank of 681 great so how was your journey in this year with the uh, dams you used you told me that you used test and discussion yes sir uh, so basically uh, i used to have a schedule and i used to uh, read the subject and then uh, i used to attend the tnd then i used to listen to the discussion and then uh, that used to help me uh, understand where i was weak and uh, uh, what points what topics i have to focus on and based on that i condensed my notes so that i have a material uh, with which i can prepare in the last one month so last one month i just used uh, those notes and in 10 days again i had another uh, another notes i made separately uh, so that i can revise my volatile topics okay great so how was your uh, experience with attending the discussions in the test and discussion class um they were very helpful sir um because uh, questions in tnd they like they used to be from familiar topics but they used to be a little bit twisted so um it was easy to understand where i was making mistake what kind of concept i was lacking so um, that helped me immensely great okay so did you attend them live or recorded uh, i actually had my own schedule so i did them recorded so i used to have my own schedule and i uh, prepared subjects accordingly and then i used to um, attend the uh, test and then i used to listen the recorded version of discussion Okay, so you revise your notes and use the test and discussion for garnishing and you know utilizing your notes. Yes. Uh, apart from test and discussion, did you use anything else, DVT or CBT? Yes, uh, DVT for the final uh, revision, and then CBTs I used to attend whenever they used to conduct CBTs. I used to attend. How was your experience with DVT and CBT? Um, it was amazing, sir. And uh, CBT especially, it used to help because uh, writing the exam in a in a different environment is different like uh, as opposed to writing at home it is very different experience so even when i was giving the final exam i actually felt like i was giving a dam cbt because the because even in dam cbt we used to get engineering colleges as uh, centers so the environment was similar so um, when i was giving the final exam it didn't feel like a, an unfamiliar environment so that helped some students were saying about this paper that it was a little atypical paper and different did you also feel so uh yes sir like i was from shift 1 so basically i was expecting a paper similar to the last year neat pg 2023 but it was difficult it was more difficult than last year for sure because the questions were lengthier and we had so many images to interpret and then uh, the options were also they were a little confusing um so in that regard i would say cbts have uh, helped me and even tnd for that matter the question the easy questions were very easy but the tough questions were very difficult it was basically time consuming i would say because earlier after each block in general i used to be uh, like i used to have 5 minutes or even 10 minutes sometimes to review but uh, in the main exam i had only around 2 minutes or 1 minutes 1 minute to review so it was lengthy i would say hmm okay so apart from um, uh, after giving this exam suppose somebody ask you how they should prepare for neat pg for the next one year what is your advice to them i would say that the first reading should be um, 
should be thorough and you should have a strong foundation and then afterwards you should keep giving tests you should keep giving gts uh, at least in the initial days you can give uh, a gt one month g every gt or uh, you should give for one month duration or uh, towards the final days you can give a gt every 15 days or even week based on uh, your own personal preference so you should start giving gts early and when you give more tests then you will understand where your weak areas are so uh, while doing subsequent revisions it will be easy for you to funnel down the content and you'll understand where to focus on where not to focus if you're not giving any tests or any gts you'll not understand where to focus and what should i read so uh, you should continuously keep giving either subject wise tests or tnds or gts you should uh, keep giving tests and that would help you evaluate okay any other general advice from you for the future aspirants who are looking to hear from you before we finally close um yes i would say uh, to keep yourself sane because your mental health is very important don't take too much stress um about this exam because that will impact your final day performance so um keep take care of your mental health and just keep studying thank you so much preeti we wish you all the best for your future and thank you. thank you for being thank with you. us thank you, thank you.